Welcome to the great pollinator hunt on the island of Hawaii. Pollinators come in all shapes and sizes, bees, ants, wasps, butterflies, midges, beetles, moths, bats, gnats. Even curious children can serve as pollinators in our backyards, gardens, farms, and wildlands. The recent decline of the monarch and bee populations is drawing attention to the important role of these precious pollinators around the world. Pollination is necessary for the reproduction of over 85% of the world's flowering plants, including more than two-thirds of the world's food species. The United States alone grows over 100 crops that either need or benefit from pollinators, and the economic value of these busy workers is estimated at $3 billion per year. Sponsored by One Island's Green School, the Great Pollinator Hunt was launched on the island of Hawaii in 2015 to help raise public awareness of the importance of protecting pollinators. We work with libraries, community gardens, school gardens, farmers markets, and our community to gather data to help identify trends and patterns in our pollinator population. The hunt is getting people out in the fresh air to look for pollinators, record findings, and then submit data using an easy online tool that has been developed in conjunction with the Roots and Shoots program of the Jane Goodall Institute. Pollination is required for over 66% of our crops, so when pollinators are negatively impacted by loss of habitat, poisons, drought, or severe climate events, it directly impacts our food system. Beyond agriculture, pollinators are keystone species in most ecosystems. Fruits and seeds derived from insect pollination are a major part of the diet for 25% of all birds and mammals. Here in Hawaii, our crops have been impacted by a decline in pollinators, largely the honeybees. Commercial beekeepers have seen a loss of up to 66% of their bees due to deadly pests invading the hives. In fact, when prized lilikoi plants stopped making passion fruit, it was discovered the sudden decline in honeybee populations was directly responsible. For a time, the furry black carpenter bee flew in to take over pollination required for the delicious passion fruit, but the number of carpenter bees also went into decline and the volume of lilikoi dropped again. After several years of alarming bee decline, our island is starting to see a return of the bees and the growth of a burgeoning small-scale honey industry. Beekeepers around the island participated in the opening launch of the great pollinator hunt at local farmers markets. All around our island, small groups of pollinator protectors are joining forces to establish beehives in their backyards and farms and create butterfly gardens, providing a safe home to help rebuild local pollinator populations. The Green School provides over 10 acres of butterfly and bee habitat on our organic farm in Hawaii. We are home to wild butterflies, moths, bees, and other pollinators, and we breed monarchs to help increase their population. You can help pollinators wherever you are. Plant a pollinator garden and cover crops. Create hand-built habitats of natural materials that attract and protect our helpful friends. Stop poisonous pesticide use on your property and in your community. Preserve open, wild, or cultivated habitat. Join us in bringing back the pollinators.